it's nice to be back. Apologies to my subscribers uh, for not posting a video for quite a while. Uh, we've had some family problems and uh, also been on holiday for two weeks. We were back in work last week, so uh, this is the first day I've had off now since coming back from holiday. Um, I'm going to be doing a goblet today out of uh, Amberzeek, which is uh, an African hardwood. Uh, it's basically a request I had from somebody to make them one, so I decided to video the process. So without further ado, we'll go over to the lathe and turn it down to round, uh, form a tenon on the end and put it into the, uh, into the chuck, and then we'll get hollowing out and forming the goblet. So I'll see you over at the lathe. <laughs> So we have that down to round, so now I'm going to use the diamond parting tool and square off the face and then make a tenon so it can go into the medium gripper jaw. So now I'm going to put the steady rest on here so that we've got some um, support when I hollow out. the inside of the goblet finished now so what remains to do to complete the inside is to uh, sand up through the grits and I'll sand that up to 600 and then the usual sanding sealer mix and uh, two coats of that cut that back and then apply the wax and then that will be the inside of the goblet finished so then we can remove the steady and then I'll bring up the tailstock and support the bowl of the goblet so I can work on the remainder of the stem. So I'll come back when I've sanded the inside and just about to buff up the final coat of wax. So I'm just buffing off the second coat of wax. taken rather well. So now what remains to do is I'll bring up the tailstock with the support and uh, we'll carry on with the shaping of the rest of the goblet.
Okay, so what I've done, I've sanded down um, to 600, and what I'm going to do now is to uh, coat the the bowl to that transition there. I do overlap a little bit on the final um, sanding of the of the stem. It doesn't really matter because you can blend that in, but that just sort of gives a cut-off point. So we'll do that now. We'll use the old sanding sealer mix to begin with. Again, being careful to try not to get any on the inside of the bowl because that's already finished with the wax coating. So we don't really want to get the sanding sealer in there if we can help it. But again, if you do, it's not a great problem, but it's just better if you don't. Okay, so I'm now going to apply the second coat of wax. And that's the bowl finished now. It's a nice, nice figure there. Looks rather nice. I'm just finishing up now with 600 on this part of the stem. As I say, you will get a little bit of overlap on what you do. As long as you're careful not to go on to the finished bowl, um, it will blend in quite nicely. <laughs> One little tip, I wouldn't, <coughs> wouldn't normally show you this now because it's very boring, but if you do use wire wool to denib your sealer, always make sure, especially on a piece like this, that you don't be tempted to do that because what will happen is it'll bind and it'll catch in the wood and you'll get bits of wire wool stuck in the wood and it can be rather dangerous. So always make sure you hold it like so and just rub it there and no chance of this happening because otherwise it will bind. So just a, a note for the less experienced and uh, if you're not happy with using wire wool as I've said before 600 or 800 grit paper will do just as well. I just happen to prefer the wire wool. I just think it gives a much, uh, does, a, does a better job. But as I say, you can you can do it with 600 or 800 grit paper. And a rule of thumb on there too is to say is to use the, the the grit or finer of the last grit you sanded down your piece to. So now we're going to apply the first coat coat of wax. And again, not to bore you too much, I'll come back when I'm 
applying and finishing off the last coat. Okay, so the last coat of wax to go on now. Not too much pressure because there is flexing. that dry and then I'll give it a final buffing and then we'll come back for the parting off and uh, the goblet will be finished. Right so that's it now the goblet is finished all remains to be done is to part him off um, and don't forget when you're parting off always make sure that you give an undercut. <laughs> And there's the goblet and it's come out quite nicely. Uh, yes, as I keep saying now, because I'm getting a bit neurotic about this, I do finish off the bottom. Uh, what I'll actually do, I think, is finish it off and show you before I end. So there's the uh, bottom finished as well, down to 600. And the same process as with the rest of the goblet. Um, I'll, as usual, I'll put some photographs up at the end. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Cheers now.